Top of the morning to you, my name is Jay Morse Review. Hey, Review family, keep it I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morse Review Guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the brand new Ringworm album entitled Death Becomes My Voice. <laughs> This is the brand new album from the metalcore, hardcore, punk, metallic, hardcore heavyweights, Ringworm. I knew I was going to cover this album, but I'm not sure how many of you guys are actually going to watch this because I know for a fact this is a band that a lot of people don't know, but they really should. And it's not on the sole reason just they are a good band, which they are, they're pretty kick-ass, it's because they are rooted in some of the, like, biggest namesakes of the current metalcore genre, and they're right up there with the forefathers of the genre, such as Integrity and Earth Crisis, Botch, and uh, Converge. I would also go as far as to say they are one of the most consistent, if not the most consistent metalcore band to ever exist, right up there with a band such as Unearth. This is their 18th studio length album and their fourth on Relapse Records, which I think works out very well for them. But the thing is, is Ringworm, unfortunately, have never really got the amount of praise that they necessarily deserve. Sure, they'll occasionally get press coverage. Sure, you'll see a review here and there. But for what they did for the genre and how consistently epic they have been, they deserve a lot more. When it comes to metalcore, nowadays you have so many offshoots, so many genres and sub -genres genres and so many things that people are doing to the sound to make it a little bit more diverse and different which is fine ringworm has always kind of rode the fringe lines between the crossover thrash movement as well as the hardcore punk movement and considering that metalcore when you really boil it down to it is heavy metal mixed with hardcore punk music that pretty much makes a lot of sense for them they came from a time when honestly no one knew what to call them they heard their music and they heard this amount of ferocity and aggression and even though there had been heavy metal bands and extreme metal bands forming up until that point in the early to mid 80s with bands like Death, bands like Morbid Angel, Celtic Frost, Venom, Napalm Death, this was a style that didn't really have a terminology so they just kind of threw the label of oh they're a crossover thrash band uh, with like some hardcore punk ideology thrown in there when in reality if you go back through it they have a stellar discography that really has a lot of the little things that you're gonna see that you're like holy crap this sounds like some of the biggest names in metalcore of the 2000s and 2010s now I'm not gonna sit here and say that those bands are like directly influenced by ringworm I'm just saying that whether or not they were influenced by ringworm or not they were influenced by some band that was most likely influenced by ringworm who were inspired by a lot of the 70s hardcore punk movement and the crossover thrash movement and this pretty much can just trail back to the first time someone mumbled something that sounded it somewhat like a musical note. <laughs> Their membership has been a little tumultuous, they've swapped a lot of people in and out, but for an extreme band like this to be around this long, not only is that expected, I'm surprised it's not more, and it's a blessing to have them still around. But now that I've sucked the band off for enough, let's go ahead and talk about this album. It's 11 tracks with two bonus tracks, 43 minutes long, and it's a ringworm rager. Much like I was talking about with a band like Unearth, they are super, 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 I can't emphasize that enough, super consistent. For the most part, from track to track, there are little moments where you're gonna like be like, wow, this is a neat idea, this is a neat riff, this is a neat bass line, this is some ferocious drum playing, this is an amazing layered vocal. But for the most part, this is a pretty status quo ringworm release. I love the audible bass on the first track, Death Becomes My Voice. When I first heard that bass line at the start with the guitars, I was surprised. It just sounds so demented and devilish and just murky. It kind of reminds me of something you would hear from like a Black Sabbath song or like an early doom metal act from the 70s. Carnivores, while it is short at only 2 minutes and 58 seconds, it's one of the most enraging songs on the entire album in a really good way. The drums remind me a lot of the drum work on that new Misery Index album that released Rituals of Power a little bit ago because 
they're super ferocious they're super pummeling they're super prominent in the mix they drive these compositions and they're really nice because that was one of the things i like so much off that misery index album and these vocals are just so hardcore punk inspired it's not even funny the riffing and the bass line sounds like something out of a crossover thrash song from the 1980s and it may sound like i am just saying this is an okay release but trust me this is one of the most ferocious metalcore albums you're going to hear this year and it's something similar to kind of like sun's new album life metal where any other band doing this would be so much like bigger but considering ringworm's consistency it's just a really good ringworm album these throaty growly shrieked singing notes are absolutely amazing they are invigorating they make it sound like you are about to get your head bashed in by a boulder by a two-headed giant in the middle of a cave on a quest to save the princess I think I just mixed like eight different franchises. But trust me, it works. The guitar playing is consistently rip roaring. It's a roller coaster of ferocity and visceralness. It's not too technical. It's very audible, but it still has that metalcore metallic edge to it with that hardcore punk and thrash metal inspired feel to it. Like I said, the drum work is consistently amazing and punchy and pummeling. It's like a mace to the face. Brigida fans from Overwatch take note. <laughs> Some of the guitar solos on this album are very tasteful and executed very nicely. They have a lot of a heavy metal feel to them, kind of a classic heavy metal feel. And some of them, for whatever reason, make me think of Bullet for My Valentine. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, I'm just saying that a lot of the guitar solos have that feel to them. Or even an Avenged Sevenfold at points. I applaud the bass so much because it is super audible throughout this whole album and it is very, very distorted sounding. I know it's not really that distorted, but it adds this muddied feel to the mix in a very good way to make it just sound so devilish. Like a lot of the early heavy metal bands such as Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. In typical ringworm fashion, the lyrics are very cynical, very dark, very just hellish. Read between the lines and you're probably not going to get much like poetic justice by ringworm standards because at this point they've built themselves up to kind of write a lot of the same material lyrically and that's not necessarily a bad thing because when you pair the aggressive delivery and the aggressive instrumentational compositions that they are putting forward, the lyrics go hand in hand with that pretty damn well. I mean, like I said, I could sit and dissect every single track, but certain albums don't need that. Certain albums are just good on a base level just staring right at them and I highly encourage anyone to check this album out if you want to know some classic metalcore that is really being brought into this decade. They are super consistent and this album is ferocious and one of the best metalcore albums I've heard in a while. The production is nice, the vocals are terrifying, the instrumentation is super balls to the wall and there's nothing I can really say bad about this album other than the fact that a lot of times it can feel a little bit metalcore one-dimensional but for a band that's been around this long and for a genre such as metalcore that a lot of times is a lot more one-dimensional than this it's super impressive that they were able to come through with a project of this magnitude and I highly suggest checking it out I'm gonna be giving this album an 8 out of 10 and that is a wrap please stay for the end screen I'll link some videos that you might be interested in be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel It'll help me out a lot like this video if you enjoyed and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads I'll talk to you guys next time but until then my name is Jay Morser Vegan I'm signing off saying farewell